Okay, we have more. We have Last more on haul. We have more on haul. Let's have more wine. Would love to compete in another more wine. Let's have more wine. God, how does that guy have tens there? Especially the yeah, Kevin, exact shoes. I need to mute you for a second. Like he just doesn't. Okay. He has ten ten, which is brutal. I'll be right, right back, Kev. Kev. I'm not going anywhere. You know me. I don't go nowhere. more on haul my stroller is all full so we have Can we have this little middle grade off. book and it's written in reverse what's going on with you and Gurley? uh this is like a pakistani girl i thought this i found this to be a really good book but i'm not gonna read it and i'm gonna pass it on to somebody else uh, recommendations for japan uh this one I, I got at the Dollarama for $3. Yeah, I cool. tried to donate it to the Little so Free Library at like the Starbucks when we had it. I tried to donate at the Little Free Library. Nobody wants this she book. Can't I'm going to try it again. It's Paisley, Hang, Paisley Hangover Acts Out. It's like, it's like high school drama. I don't know. I had a really good time reading it. So... Hopefully, hopefully somebody will enjoy it. Uh, this is the Mother Daughter Book Club. Uh, I had a good time reading it. Yeah, I went to Shijuku um, for two nights. But I don't need to have it on my shelves. And I'm going to get rid of Amari and the Nerd Brothers. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed reading it, but I don't have any desire to read it again. Um, Cassandra in Reverse is one I read at my dad's. Um, keep saying storage for what's happening. Um, I read this at my dad's in December. So I really want to experience everything in Japan. In December, like, I think. Some days I was um, in the city. It's aspects. a Reese's Book Club clip. I really enjoyed it when I was reading it, but I don't need to have it on my shelves. Uh, my dad thoroughly enjoyed this one. He wanted me to read it, but it's just not my cup of tea. It's a thousand miles to to um, freedom. Yeah, if you want to go to the, the massages in Japan, uh, no place like home. I really thoroughly enjoyed it when I read it. It's a Toronto author, University of Toronto. She's in recent immigrant to Canada. Um, really enjoy it. Somebody should really and love this shrines, book. I just don't want to ha have it on my I shelf. Uh, killer content. Really good book. Um, again, it's a YA. Really had a good time reading it. It's dual perspective. It's like, it's perfect. 30 million followers, one dead body. You know, they get sponsorship deals. They're good looking. They live together. It's like, yeah, it's a perfect book, but I don't really need to have it on my shelf, so that's going to go. It's really cool. I tried to unhaul this one a few times, doesn't want to go. I'm going to try it again. Uh, these two books, yeah, Virginia sure Woolf, and I got at the, the used bookstores in downtown, I'm pretty sure, but I mean, theoretically, I'm not going to read them. So this one is Virginia Woolf, and this one is Howard's End. So I'm just going to pass it on. And then Sterling Kierkegaard, although that, this was, yeah, but look at the font. Uh, yeah, it yeah, just gives me a headache. Banned this book. Really, really good book. I was keeping it on my shelf, but you know what? I'm going to pass it along because I think that um, the kids should read this book. Kids, kids should, it should get into some kids' book, kids' hands, so. I'm going to pass that along, and I'm, I'm unhauling these ones because I hate, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to delete, I'm going to get rid of these copies of Dracula and Sense and Sensibility, because I, this is from Indico, I cannot stand reading these versions. I can't stand reading these versions. So hopefully somebody will, oh, and also there's Jane Eyre. But yeah, I can't stand reading, oh, yeah, I can't picture, stand picture. reading these versions. Um, and then we have A Night to Die, which is a prom. Yeah, YA, had a really good time reading it. It's YA. Somebody will enjoy that. 
yesterday. Uh, this is Seneca, a penguin classic, but I really, it's annotated even. All in here. And then we have, I told you it would get easier. This was, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this one, but I'm not going to reread it. So I'm going to pass it. That's it for us. This is our second on haul. Thank you so much for watching. And our, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And cheers. Have a great day, everybody.